Today in my garage, I'm working on my super light. This is my battery powered cordless LED light, which can be modified to sit on a bench mount stand, a long tripod stand, or I even have a stand that'll allow you to put this down on the floor and work under the car or inside the car. So what I want to do today is test some batteries to see how long these two LED lights will run on a couple different types of batteries. The first battery I have here is a very small AGM battery. This is a lead acid free battery so it's not going to spill or corrode anything around your shop. The other battery I have is a lithium polymer battery. This is the type of batteries that I use on my RC aircraft. So what I'm going to do is set up the camera, we're going to get the clock in view here, and we're going to take each one of these batteries and see how long this light will run before the batteries drain down to acceptable levels. I want to show you the test results of using one small AGM battery with my super light. This is probably the smallest battery I would recommend. It's readily available online. It's used in a lot of electrical components. It's a battery that you can put in the tray. It's not too heavy. And so we hooked this thing up at 1030. And I decided to see how long it would run. It's now 1215. So it's been an hour 45 minutes. Let's do a voltage check and see what the battery is right now. I can tell by looking at the light, it's starting to lose some intensity. So I think the battery's getting down. Look at that, 8.91. So that's probably as low as you want to run the battery at this point. We're going to disconnect this. But I think you got to see a really good example of this type of battery and how well it powers both of these super lights. If you decided just to run one light, you'd have double that time. So I think an hour 45 minutes is pretty good runtime on a battery this size here. Now let's see how the lithium polymer battery compares. This is a 5200 milliamp 11.1 .1 volt battery. I just pulled it off the charger. Now there's something I need to say about lithium polymer batteries. You do not want to drain them down dead. If you do, you ruin the battery. That's one of the big disadvantages of these type of batteries. What I have here is a little warning beeper that warns me when this battery gets down to three volts per cell. So I'm gonna put the beeper on because I'm gonna be working around the shop here when I plug this in. It's now just a little after 2.30. So let's plug this beeper in. It's gonna make a little squawk here when I plug it in. Okay, now see it's telling me that I have 12.5 volts showing on all three cells. All right, now let's plug this in. We're gonna turn it on like that, and now I'm gonna leave it. And when I hear that beep, 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 I'll know it's time to unplug the lithium polymer battery and we'll then check the clock again. It's four o'clock, so it's been an hour and a half. I'm just gonna stop in here and check. Look at that. Voltage is still at 10.9. Wow, that's amazing for such a small battery. I'll let this keep running and we'll see how much time we can actually get out of this battery. Okay, I heard this beeping from afar and sure enough, it's run out of time. Let's shut these lights off. What this is showing now is a total of, come on, 8.8 .8 volts. So it's dropped just down below nine volts. It's time to turn this off. You really don't want to drain these lithium polymer batteries down any lower than three volts per cell. Okay, so I'm, I'm done, that's it. But guess what? It is now just a little past 4.15. Can you believe that? 2.30 to 4.15, an hour, 45 minutes. That's pretty amazing on a battery that's only this size. Extremely lightweight, extremely portable, but once again, it has those drawbacks that I've talked to you about before. Number one, you have to have a specialty charger. You cannot charge these with a regular charger. And number two, you cannot, and I repeat, you cannot allow these to go dead or you will ruin them. When I say dead, running it all the way down to where there's no voltage in them. Those are your options right there. I think those are the two best options. Once again, 
you saw in a previous video that I put an extension cord on it so you can plug it into a cigarette lighter, you can plug it into your battery in your engine compartment, you can use a booster and hook it up to a booster. So there's a lot of other sources of 12 volts that you can use on this light. But as far as portability, these are probably the two best ones.